Okay. The next star that I'm going to be doing is by this little guy, because I think I have just enough time to do this star right here. So I'm going to feed him 800 star bits. I've got over 3,000 of them. Now over 2,800. But that's okay. I think I'll have plenty of star bits to feed the other hungry Lumas that we find along the way. If not, I'll just collect star bits by going to other galaxies and collecting them along the way, as I have been doing like a maddening, not-so-crazy person, whatever you want to call me. And next one is Big Mouth's Gold Bait. Let's get it started. Oh, I remember this one. Maybe this one will take a little bit, a little while. Um, I need a golden shell in order to open that treasure chest, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-oh, spooky music. Very spooky music. What you got to say here, Duder? Hey, talk to me. Oh, a stone fish. Um, how do I open this chest anyway? I think it is a golden shell. Whoops. Yeah, the shell that shines. Well, anyway, I gotta go find that shell. And, I'm, and I need to go inside this cove here. Let's go dive in with the shell and race forward. Because... There really isn't very many air bubbles in this area. It is dark, it is spooky. Crash through this wall just by running, ramming into it with your shell. And, uh, where is the shell, actually? Do I, do I have to kill this thing? Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> okay. I could use a little hint here. Oh, oh, I see something. I see some stuff. Uh, launch star pieces deep in the waters here, so I guess I have to collect these, I completely forgot about that, there's number two right here, number three, they're probably all around the same, like, area, like, in the same circular area, um, does that, does that give me air every time I collect one of them, because that'd be kind of strange, how do you get air from, uh, launch star pieces anyway, um, uh, let's see, aerial view, tells me there's one right here, and then another one straight ahead, right here, the last one is also probably in these leafy, blue, greeny stuff here, and I'm surprised the camera is, again, holding up as well it is, as it is, by the way, there's star bits all along the perimeter of this thing right here, collect them if you would like to, I would recommend it, as I said, you need a lot of star bits to beat this game. Anyway, where is the last one? It's got to be in this foliage somewhere, so I'm just going to stay above this line and wait till I see something that's spark <clears throat> sparkling. Um, there's an eel there. Maybe he's carrying it or something. Um, oh, I see it. I see it. I gotcha. Aha! Launch star for the win. And I'm going to go around and get to that. I think it's right in the center. Yeah, right where, the, right, right where the last piece was, actually. I should say the middle piece was, excuse me. And now I'm looking for the golden shell. There it is! Grab it! Now go all the way back to the start. This shouldn't be much of a problem whatsoever, because you got the shell power on your side, and you've also got the speed boost of the shell. And, uh, all I have to do is find that brick wall there, wherever the heck that is. Uh, brick wall, where are you? Oh, there it is! Hey, don't push me aside, little, uh, vortex thing. So, yeah, you can use this to break through the wall as well. Um, avoid the boos, obviously. Uh, you can kill the boos, I forgot to mention, by, uh, shining light on them. Uh, that's one of the few ways that you can kill boos, is by shining light on them. And, uh, there's the treasure chest. Open it up! Oh, there's a tow brigade member. What you got? Oh no! What what did you forget to tell me? Oh, you got a star, but you fell. Oh, well, uh, give me that star. Woo! Well, that about does it for this part. I collected all the stars that I think I can in this part. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you g enjoy. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing this little guy right here. Not literally doing this little guy, but I'm going to be feeding him. Hey, what, what the heck? Let me... There we go. That was weird. Woo! Yeah, a thousand star bits for this critter. Now you see why you've been collecting so many star bits. Holy cow, look at him. He's higher than a kite from collecting those things. I should say eating them. He must be really stuffed. Surprisingly, he doesn't get any bigger 
than the other uh, hungry Lumas that ate less star bits, but hey, don't question it. Well, anyway, go and uh, into that launch star and start this one right here, choosing a favorite snack. Oh, no. Oh, I remember this one, actually. This one isn't that bad. You have two choices on how to get through this. Bee Mario and Ghost Mario. Um, both are about equal in difficulty, so don't expect anyone to be better than the other. Just, just pick one that you find to be the easiest for you. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is um, doing Ghost Mario because he has unlimited, uh, I should say Boom Mario, because he has unlimited flight. Yes, it is yummy. So I'll uh, eat that mushroom and uh, look out for the light and look out for the other ghosts that are uh, floating around along the up along the way here. Because as you know, the ghosts love you, and by love you, I mean they will hump you. So uh, try to avoid them too, because they uh, obviously don't don't have any boundaries since they're dead and all. So. Yeah, just avoid them, and go to this launch star right here, no problem whatsoever getting here. And the next area is this rainbow star area. Um, you can take some pretty awesome shortcuts just by going like that, and then going around um, this area like so, until you get to the very center of it. Woohoo! Am I going? I think I'm going the right direction. Uh, oh, no, no, no! Pooper scoopers! Uh, but yeah, take shortcuts where you can, because it takes forever to go around the long way. And, uh, oh, I'm right here. Well, that's not too bad. So let's rainbow star it up, and get ready to... Throw... Wait, where the heck can I jump across now? <laughs> it's not set up right. Uh, I can do it here. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I, I'm actually surprised I survived that, but whatever. I'm just gonna blow that up right there and jump across. And uh, I'm out of rainbow star power, but that's okay. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I can long jump to that planet in the middle. There we go. And there's a star right in the middle of the whole solar system of this small galaxy area. Alright everyone, I'm pretty sure there's one more, I should say this is the last Hungry Luma we have to feed, and I'm pretty sure he wants a thousand star bits as well. Six, one thousand six hundred? You greedy pig! Well, I have that amount, and a little more, because I was collecting them like a madman. So let's feed this critter, and holy cow, he's massive! Actually, maybe they do get a little bigger <laughs> than the other ones. Well, I fed him, and now let's go to the final Hungry Luma galaxy. Which is the Snowcap Galaxy. Launch star for the win! Woohoo! Actually, I kind of forgot which one. Oh, Star Bunnies in the Snow. I remember now. Oh, this one is not fun at all because you have to remember the locations of these bunnies. It's very unlikely that you're going to remember how to beat this one on your first. I mean,. It's very unlikely that you'll be able to beat this one on your first shot. Grab a shell, open up this treasure chest. Yeah, there's a shell right at the other side of that planet there. Uh, once you flop over here, these bunnies will talk to you. Oh, God, I hate you all. Oh, no. Well, anyway, they disappear randomly. And there's only 150 seconds to collect all three of them. Oh, no. Um, what I first need to do is find switches, if I'm not mistaken, so I can unlock a fire flower, like this one right here, so I can start melting these things, because there's bunnies inside those things, and you can't break them apart without a fire flower. Oh, that is so fair, it, it just makes me so happy. So anyway, let's just keep looking for them. You can push snow to the side by using your cursor there, as you can see what I'm doing. Um, oh man, I'm right way back at the start. And as you can see, there's snow falling on the area too. So that makes it take even longer. Um, oh, there's a switch up here. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I didn't want to go through the snow again. And let's grab the fire flower and let's start, start burning things. Okay, start here. There's a coin there. Coin, not good. Um, once you get, once you find the bunny, lead him over back to the top. Um, where that fire flower was, because, um, over there is a little, 
an alcove that you can trap him in. I'm just going to let him be free. Well, now I'll catch him as long as I'm going to go back. So I'm going to lead him to go up into that hole where I can easily catch him. And uh, six, oh, 76 seconds to go. I got, I got the bunny. Stop grabbing the bunny there, Mario. Jeez, don't you have any boundaries? Anyway, destroy this snowman here. Let's see. There's a, there's a shell there. I bet you I have to open up this chest then. Oh, there's a bunny. I got you, bunny. Oh, yeah, I guess there's another hole over here. So I guess pick up the bunny and I should say catch him over there. And I need to get that fire flower again, if I'm not mistaken. Go, Mario, go! Only 50 seconds to go. Well, 51. Now it's 50. I always round up the numbers. And let's find some more stuff to destroy while I can. Let's see if there's a bunny in here. Whoa! No, there's no bunny in there. Oh, my goodness. There's got to be a bunny somewhere around here. I'm going to grab this shell. I'm pretty sure I ran out of snowmen to uh, uh, blow our... Sh oh, wait. Oh, uh, is there any treasure chests around here? Well, there's that bunny over there. Um, oh man, I forgot where the last one was. No, 20 seconds. Poopers, must find bunny. Was there a bunny in here? There's a hole there. Uh, I don't think you can do anything about that hole there, and I'm boned. I'm so boned. Where the heck is the last bunny anyway? I have no idea. Maybe I'm supposed to kick this thing or something, I don't know, but I gotta try it all over again. And strangely, when you don't catch the bunnies, you lose a life. I don't understand. They don't kill you or anything like that, so how do you lose a life? Let's try this again. I'm gonna go catch the first bunnies and then cut over until the part that I think I'm gonna find third bunny. So let's go. I completely forgot where the last bunny is, so let's just juggle some snow around. Well, I look for the last bunny. No, oh, there it is. It's in this hole. Oh, man. Did I catch the bunny? Yeah, there we go. So I guess it's the last bunny is inside that hole, and you've got to uncover it. So there's the star. Woo! Well, that was an ordeal.